I see you. You're an old man sitting at home with your coffee. What have you ever done with your life? Well, I'll tell you what you're doing. You're making a visual effect breakdown. Cool. What, what's that? All right. Well, if you go onto YouTube and search for some type of VFX breakdown, you'll probably see something like this, where it's breaking down how a 3D scene was made. Well, let me just tell you now, there are some most satisfying things to watch to this day. Now, how do you make one, you ask? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can make your very own little VFX breakdown in three simple steps. Step number one, which is technically more of a tip than a, a, a step. Uh, yeah. Pretty much you just want to keep in mind that it's not about the breakdown or the fancy editing you've got going on. No, it's about the final result and the steps you took to achieve that result. So, with that out of the way, let's move on to step number two. You said number two. <laughs> Actually making the thing. And for this, you're going to need three things. The first of which being the project file of the scene you wish to use. Second, you're going to need an editing software like After Effects, DaVinci, HitFilm, Vegas, you name it. In this case, I'll be using HitFilm because it's pretty much like Premiere and After Effects combined, but it's free. And the third thing you're going to need is you because that's, that's how it works. Cool. Now what you want to do is grab the file whatever scene you want to use. I'll be using this scene from the reel I did a while back, which you should definitely go check out. Anyways, take that scene and go ahead and start breaking down the core elements in the scene. For example, there's these two pots here in the foreground. So I might just take them and kind of like animate them to fly upwards. That looks good. I'll do the same with this robot, and that looks pretty okay. I'm gonna render this out, and we'll move on to step number three, compositing. Now, I get a lot of questions asking how to make renders look realistic, and honestly, about 50% of it is just post-processing. For example, this shot looks like garbage, then with a little bit of comping magic, it actually looks okay. So yeah, slap in that breakdown render we just made, and here I've got some steam and grading elements. So go ahead and create a mask on those, and just animate it to kind of like slide in or whatever. And there you go, congrats! You just made a visual effect breakdown that actually she looks pretty darn good. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye. Two, three. No, 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 no!